Hi, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Sharani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys today? Well, I hope you are doing really well. I am so excited to do lesson 14 with you guys today. We are doing so well with counting and sorting and rating our numbers. We're going to keep on doing that today and we'll find some more hidden partners and we're going to make some number sentences today. It should be really fun. So if you have something to write on or write with, you will be able to write your number sentences along with me. That would be cool. But if not, you can always just follow along with me. Remember, that's always totally fine. So we'll start off with a quick fluency. We'll do our application problem to warm up. We will do a quick concept development, which is the main part of our lesson. Then we will do a student debrief where we talk about what we learned. And then we'll do our exit ticket on Google Forms. Sound good? All right, here we go. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh, when I sneeze, I always sneeze into my elbow. I have some allergies. Do you guys get allergies when you go outside? That happens to me a lot. And I was just outside, so I came in and then feel like I have a little runny nose, but I'm okay. I'm not sick or anything. All right, here we go. Module one, lesson 14. I can write numbers one two and three and represent decompositions that just means hidden partners with different materials different drawings and different equations so that's what we are going to work on today okay here we go we are going to start off with making three finger combinations so i will show you some fingers some will have two three zero one and um, you will tell me how many more fingers I need to make three. And um, we'll click this rectangle green box here and we'll see if we're correct. All right. So if this was one of the ones we were doing, we'll do this one as like a sample and then we'll go on to the, to the real game. So how many fingers do we have here? Two. How many more do we need if we want three? Remember, three is always our magic number. That's always the number we want to have. So if we have two up here, how many more do we need to get three? Just one. And then we have a total of three. Two and one make three. That's our number sentence. Two and one make three. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so we have zero here. How many more do we need to make three? Four. Three, zero and three make three. Good, okay, let's do another one. Okay, here we have one. How many more do we need to make three? Flirt, two, yes, one and two make three. That's our number sentence. Okay, here we have three. How many do we need to make three now? Zero. Yes. Three and zero make three. That's our number sentence. All right. Now let's get into our application problem. And I'm going to get out my pen. And if you have something to write with, that would be cool. If you don't, um, you can just follow right along with me, okay? How many ears do you have? One, two. I have two ears, so I'm going to write the number two. Make a moon. There's more work to do. Go to the right. That's a two. How many heads do you have? I have one. Straight line down. Then you're done. That's how you write a number one. How many feet do you have? I have two feet, so I'm going to write two. Make a moon. There's more work to do. Go to the right. <clears throat> That's a two. How many wings do you have? Well, I don't think I have any wings. What do you think? I think I have zero wings. I'm going to write a zero. That's my zero. And if you don't have something to write with, <clears throat> you can just write in the air. That's fine. Okay, now, if we were standing together, you and me, how many noses would we have together? Well, I have one nose. Do you have one nose? So one and one would make two. So we would have two noses in our group. 
Good work. All right. Let's do get into our concept development now. Okay, let's get a cue. Well, <laughs> that's silly. I gotta click my select. Oops, I gotta click my select button here. There we go. <laughs> get one cube. Okay, over here. How many cubes do I have? Just one. Write that number in the air. One. Okay. Let's get one more cube and connect it to this first one we got. How many cubes do I have now? Two. Write that one in the air. Now let's get one more and let's connect that. How many cubes do I have now? Three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make a number three. Good. Okay, now we have our completed tower here and it looks so good. Remember, we have three cubes in our tower. How many cubes? Three. How many cubes are not in our tower? Zero. Hmm. Okay. Did we get any more cubes? No. We didn't get any more. Did we lose any cubes? No. We still have three cubes and we made our three tower into a two and a one tower, right? If I take one off, then I made it into a two and a one tower. But I didn't get any more cubes and I didn't take away any cubes. I just took my tower apart. So I still have three. So now this fancy schmancy thing you see over here, these are some symbols that we can use to make our number sentences. So if I started with three cubes in my tower, now I have two cubes right here. So I'm gonna write two cubes are still in my tower and one cube is off of my tower. So now this number sentence reads three equals two and one. This symbol here is an equal sign. You can say equals, you can say makes. That's what that means. And this symbol right here, that's an addition symbol. So that means and. That means when you're joining two things together, it makes this thing. Sometimes you see the equal sign on this side of the equation. Sometimes you see it in the front of the equation. Either one is correct as long as your total digit comes at, like before here or it would go after here. But we'll get more into that a little bit later. This is a super special way to write the number sentences that we've been saying out loud and it's called a number sentence. So that's what we just wrote. Let's do another one. Okay, so look at these cubes below. How many cubes are in the tower? One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna write three right here around the tree. Um, three. That's how we make number three. How many cubes are red? Blurt. Two. So I'm going to write a two here. How many cubes are blue? One. So this is my number sentence again. Three equals two and one. And it's the same thing as saying two and one makes three. You got it. Okay, now let's look at these balls. Ooh, it looks like maybe those are golf balls and volleyballs. This looks like a volleyball. These look like golf balls to me. Okay, how many balls are there total? One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to write a three right here. How many balls have stripes? I'm going to say these things are like stripes. So how many balls have stripes? One. So I'm going to write a one right here. How many balls do not have stripes? Two. So that would be our number sentence. Three equals one and two. One ball with stripes, two balls without stripes equals three total balls. That is our number sentence. Those are our hidden partners of three, one and two. Okay, now. Let's go and look in our Google Forms exit ticket for the day, okay? Here we go. All right, so 
here, you're going to look at these two um, cubes. Oh, you can pretend instead of these cubes being vertical, they're just horizontal, but we already learned that it doesn't change. The number doesn't change if you just put something horizontal versus vertical, right? So that's just what I did. They're just horizontal here. So which one of these represents this equation? Three equals one plus two. So think, or one and two, one plus two, you could say either one. So we have three total cubes, we know that. But look at the colors. Which one of these tells me I have one cube that's one color and two cubes another color? And which one of these tells me I have two cubes one color and one cube another color? Which one? So that's what you will choose today. All right. Good work today. We learned how to decompose the number three. We took it apart into a group of one and two makes three, and we took it apart into a group of two and one makes three. If you have some crayons or unifix cubes or any kind of loose parts that you can count at home and explore around with some of this, go ahead and do that. Breaking apart towers into two and one, into three, or three and zero even, or zero and three, two and one, any of those are hidden partners of three. Good job, kiddos. I will see you next time. Adios.